good morning children hope you all are healthy and happy and taking very good care of yourself welcome to session 1 social studies paper 2 chapter 21 disaster management in today's session we are going to learn human induced disaster road accidents and rail accidents human induced disaster induced means give rise to or bring about and disaster means a sudden accident or a natural catastrophe that causes great damage or loss of life there are various other reasons that led to the large scale destruction some reasons or some causes are which was natural and some causes are man made now in this lesson we have to understand that how can we reduce the loss of life or a severe damage now first when we are starting we will start with the man made reasons or man made causes which leads to a disaster first one is unplanned growth of cities second lack of proper drainage facility and third one is increased population etc unplanned growth of cities it means as most of the people from the villages they are migrant and they have started living in the cities and towns where the people are not planning that which resources is going to be get exhausted if they are growing or they are settled down on the particular place then lack of proper drainage facility always sanitation plays a vital role in the development of not only the personal hygiene and all that even for the development of a particular place when the people are not having a proper drainage facility to drain out water definitely it's going to be get mixed with a, a fresh drinking water it can create the health hazards as well as when there is a sudden downpour of a rain so if the drainage system is not proper it can create a havoc to the city third one is increased population etc as population is increasing day by day and the density of population is increasing in particular area because of lack of basic amenities or public amenities definitely the disasters can be occur if we look all the causes all of them are human induced and we if we are more careful about them many such disasters can be prevented so Uh, we can say that natural hazards are not always natural because human beings play a major role in inducing them so somehow natural disasters or obviously it's these are the natural phenomena we cannot stop it but we can take a precaution but when you are observing this unplanned growth of cities proper uh, lack of proper drainage facility and increased population anyhow these are considered as the man made problems which was making such type of disaster the disasters that are caused because of human negligence or deliberately by an individual or a group can be termed as human made the disasters cause the most in terms of human suffering loss of life and long term damage to a country's economy and productive capacity obviously when a negligence was done by the human being it is going to be get disaster it is going to be create the problem not only for the problem or suffering for a long run in a, a life of a person either it will be a loss of life or it will be creating a damage in a long term of life as well as it affect the economy and productivity of that particular place now under the man made these are uh, we having accident related disasters road rail and air accidents are some of the disasters that take place on a day to day basis rapid development and expansion of road networks for better connectivity and the increase in number of motor vehicles have led to a substantial rise in levels of both passengers and freight movement the number of road accidents and fatalities has also been growing in recent years as we are living in a globalization era so there is a need to have an continuous interaction definitely roadways railways and airways these are the mediums of transport through which we can reach to the place with more comfort but if we are not following certain norms certain rules and regulations definitely it's going to be create an accidents in india 80000 people are killed in road accidents every year 
this is a huge uh, figure children almost in india about 80000 people are killed in road accidents every year which is 13% of the total fatality all over the world hence road safety education is an essential as any other basic skills of survival so why this much of percentage of uh, people are dying or why thousands of people are losing their life because they are not following the sa uh, road safety uh, they are they are not having a proper awareness about the road safety how to road how to use the uh, road definitely it's a public community where everyone is uh, using it but they should have a certain uh, education certain rules and regulation which has to be followed by every user of a road hence the road safety week is observed in january every year and throughout the country throughout the india uh, first uh, week of january is uh, celebrating as the road safety week the theme of the road safety week in 2006 was the road safety and no accident to bring about uh, awareness among the people how to use uh, the road and how to follow the rules and regulations when while using the road every year the first week of january is celebrating as the road safety week yeah you can see the road accidents definitely a uh, damage or it's a uh, not only giving injury even a loss of life also what we have to do do's and don'ts let us start with the do's drive if you have a legal license and have attained the age of 18 first thing that the minority or the ch uh, children should not use the vehicle or be below the 18 years they should not use the vehicle on the road so the person those who are having a legal license that person only can use the road always walk on the footpath cross only at zebra crossing and at traffic signals only so these are the certain rules which when you which you have to follow when you are using the road or when you are on a road don't don't be impatient on the road and don't run on the road impatient everyone have want to reach on the destination on a time but because of the overtaking because of over speed you have to avoid when you are use when you are on the road never cross the road at a corner curve as a motorist while taking the turn will not be able to see in time pedestrians those who are using by those who are uh, walking on the road or because of they are just crossing or they have to uh, reach to the another corner of a road you have to be just uh, try to be on a footpath or you should cross it on the zebra crossing and don't be have to cross the road from the sharp edges or the curves because the, the bikers may be on the speed they are unable to put a brake on a proper time here we having a data of uh, causes of road accidents in the year 2018 various reasons are there jumping red light use of mobile phone while driving drunken driving wrong side driving others and speeding these are the general causes of the road accidents now rail accidents earlier railway transportation appeared to be safe due to slower speeds shorter trips and lower density traffic the most common type of rail accidents are derailment which takes place due to lack of proper maintenance human error or sabotage this causes huge losses to life and inflicts injuries and disabilities to many more the transportation of various highly inflammable products like coal oil etc also leads to accidents another accidents were the rail accidents though the speed was uh, very uh, slow but it carries a huge number of passengers as well as uh, it's having a good trains also so at that time mostly because of a negligence of a human being only such type of rail accidents will be happen because of uh, uh, the derailment or will be having any sort of technical issues or maybe they are not having a proper tracking track also so because of the such type of issues the rail accidents occur and this causes the huge uh, losses of more life because more of the number of passengers are using or they'll be uh, in a rail so it created not only the injuries even sometimes it is leading to a, a loss of life to many people 
another important reason is uh, sometimes these uh, good trains are carrying the highly inflammable products like coal oil and etc if they are getting any sort of uh, uh, circuit or any sort of uh, negligence by human being it leads to the accidents uh, maybe in the form of fire broke out in a uh, compartments and all that here you can see a uh, real accident where a huge number of people will lose their life what we have to do do's and don'ts at railway crossing pay attention to the signal and the swing barrier in case of unmanned crossing get down the vehicle and look at both the sides of the track before crossing the track so these are the some of the precautions by which we can avoid the rail accident or accident which were occurred by uh, the railways don't don't get try to underneath the closed signal barriers and cross them don't stop the train on a bridge or tunnel where evacuation is not possible so such type of precautions you have to take when you are using a railway common causes for train accidents we can uh, we have a list of a certain causes general causes which leads to the train accidents first one is uh, malfunctioning train signals or lights failing mechanics inadequate maintenance of the track safety gates not in place crossing that are unprotected negligence by the conductor and the train or parts that are defective these are the general uh, causes of the train accidents and it uh, each year every year about 15000 train accidents occur and uh, people can stop it because this is truly man made disaster let us have quick recap children today we have learned human induced disaster road accidents and rail accidents time for home assignment write some slogans to bring awareness about road accidents thank you